hi guys today is Thursday July 7th and it's about 6 30 6 30 in the evening and um, uh, I'm starting out here inside the Quonset hut and the reason is because um, uh, remember I talked about um, giving my seasonal decorations um, uh, as donations to a thrift store in Camarillo well I did all I did I I did do that I and um, so I freed up this whole table here this long table so um, I've already started going through the house and just kind of collecting items from inside the house that I'm not loving you know ready to let go of a lot of things inside the house as well so tomorrow Friday and Saturday I'm planning on having my indoor yard sale so today um, I've been getting ready for that for tomorrow and Saturday so uh, this is just some of the stuff that I've brought in out here from inside the house so it's just miscellaneous um, I guess house decoration type items um, a little bit of like bakeware um, um, one of those things for, for water to put the water jug on top of a few um, vintage um, collectors plates sorry for the glare yeah so it's just miscellaneous stuff so <clears throat> I was doing that today and then um, this is actually very 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 random um, I had a thought you know I hope this isn't this isn't uh, TMI but these are actually um, these are my sh my shower shoes that I wear when I take a shower um, I wear them because I, for extra safety because of my, um, my bad hip that I have, my bad hips. So this, um, is safer for me to wear, um, uh, shower, uh, sandals when I, when I go in to take a shower. So, but what I was thinking was, um, what would really help me a lot is if I had, now these are not Crocs, they're a knockoff, um, they're, they're a knockoff to the Crocs. I got these at Walmart. But anyways, they're the foam. You, you, you know, the foam. So I was thinking since my, since I had the hip replacement surgery and, and my, my left leg actually came out pretty much a, um, an inch longer than my right leg. So my, my right leg is short, shorter to, to the left now by an inch pretty much. So if they could make Crocs, not just for me, but for anybody, if they, now these aren't Crocs, so I know that this is an open toe, so, because these are my shower shoes, but if they could make prosthetic Crocs, so I would just need, like, this whole shoe, my right shoe, to be, like, pretty much, like, a, a an inch more in thickness in the sole compared to this one. This one would, would just be left alone, and then the right foot, if they could make a Croc, with the sole that's an inch thicker than than this one to make up the difference so what i'm gonna i don't know i you know i don't know if it's been thought it probably has been thought of already but i don't know i'm gonna see what happens i looked it up online and i got the the address for the um crocs company the um their headquarters it's actually in Colorado. It's in Colorado. And the president of the company, his name's Andrew, Andrew Reese. So I'm thinking on writing because I looked it up on their website and they really encourage any customers that have suggestions or like, you know, not happy with something to write to them. So they really strongly encourage that. So I'm going to go ahead and make that suggestion about, I don't know, maybe they're out there already. I don't know, but. I don't know maybe not so anyways oh and then what I wanted to say was I I've written letters to I've written letters to um, well I've written letters to um, people like for example I wrote a letter to um, Barack Obama when he was the president and I actually got a letter back I got a, I got a reply from from the White House. You see, this was in September 2009, and I got a reply, and just so happens that we were living in Las Cruces, New Mexico at the time. See, Rebecca? So, um, yeah, so that's where we lived in New Mexico. So, um, 
see here Barack Obama anyway so I wrote a letter so that was really a trip to get a letter I came home from work one one evening and I went to check the mail and this there was a letter with the with the um, with it with the letterhead from the from the White House um, I also wrote a letter to a judge he was an administrative law judge in Al Albuquerque New Mexico and what had happened was my employer at the time which was the housing authority of the city of Las Cruces um, they uh, you know I was wrongfully terminated what what had happened was I gave my notice but you know most people give a two-week notice well I gave a six-week notice because I already knew that much in advance that um, I was going to be moving coming back to California and they were planning on sending me and my co-workers for the the department that I worked in to a like a four-day training in El Paso Texas and um, I was basically trying to save them some money and not pay for me to go to that training that uh, four-day training in El Paso uh, when I, my intentions were to to resign so that's why I did it so then the next day after I gave my notice the next day I went in and I got called into HR and they they did what they said that they had the right to do as an employer which was to accelerate you know accelerate my my notice and so I was literally like let let go that day that that morning so um, then they fought me on when I tried to apply for um, unemployment. They fought me on it. So I I um, filed an appeal and it went to an administrative um, law judge in Albuquerque, and I, the, he ruled in my favor. And I was so grateful to him. I wrote him a letter. I didn't get an answer back. I didn't get a reply back from him. But I I keep copies of the letters that I've written. So that was in April of 2010. And then um, finally, in 2012, believe it or not, I wrote a letter to um, Icon Productions, which is the production company for um, Mel Gibson. And that's like a long story, but I wrote a letter to Icon, you see, Icon Productions. Uh, where was he at? In Santa Monica. Santa Monica, California. Anyways, um, I got an answer back from from the production company which was actually Mel Gibson's production company at the time so yeah I've written letters so um, we're gonna go ahead and go in the house real quick because there's um, two things that I have you know I I pick up like uh, unusual items at the thrift store so I wanted to show you If you ever happen to come across one of these in a thrift store, um, I wore this t-shirt for the 4th of July. And you know how some uh, cotton t-shirts, um, after you wear them, they end up getting these little fuzz balls. So this uh, little gadget, I mean, I guess you could get them at Walmart, but I found it at the thrift store. So when I saw it, I picked it up. So you use it and it actually shaves the fabric and it t removes and you see there's a little ball of um, fine uh, threads or uh, fuzz. It's fuzz from the t-shirt is what it is. It's fuzz. This is fuzz from that t-shirt. So this and then this is a cool thing. I would see these like in cooking shows and I found one. So I haven't actually used it yet because I kind of forgot that I had it. But now that you know, now that I brought it out again, I'll I'll remember more that I have this. Um, I guess it's to cut vegetables or eggs, you know, like boiled eggs or vegetables. And um, the last thing is <clears throat> this is a a really um, this is a really special thing to me. This is a plaque that I have on my wall over my kitchen door and it's a plaque and it's of uh, Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane and he's praying to the Father so I have this in my kitchen and um, it's very special to me I look up at it often you know and 
it reminds me that Jesus prayed to the Father, so we also, we, we should pray to the Father. We need to pray to the Father, our Heavenly Father. So, yeah, so that's really a special thing to me as well. Okay, so we're done with, we're done with everything. And all I have to do now, this is what I made for dinner. I made a spaghetti dinner with a garden salad and that's blue cheese dressing. And then I made some garlic toast bread. So I get to eat that now. All right, y'all. Good night.